Why is Sasha Kovleva is such an interesting character? Cyberpunk 2077 gave us a living, breathing, capitalist metropolis. A world full of vivid and visceral deeds happening, all within and outside Night City's confines. And the variety of beautiful and horrifying characters to spend our time getting to know. However, there is one character in particular who has recently garnered a ton of attention simply by being the subject in one of the game's spin-off series music videos. The song Let You Down by David Poziadlo was the first glimpse we saw of Cyberpunk Edgerunners, a Netflix anime spin-off of Cyberpunk 2077, and the video in which we were first introduced to characters such as Main, Rebecca and Dorio. But along with them, we see a character that we won't see in the series. Sasha Yokovleva. In this video, I'll briefly talk about why Sasha is such an interesting character, from her design to the glimpse of her story that we see in the video, why Studio Masket's original creation character was so infatuating for the audience. An introduction to Sasha. Galina, Sasha's mother, passed away while she was a little child as a result of Biotechnica Medicine's adverse effects. This was a source of immense trauma for Sasha who was still a kid when she lost her mother. Sasha's lack of a guardian, or a path in life, led her towards a downward spiral into a world of crime and illegal cyberpunk activities. After a few years, she joined Dorio and Rebecca as a netrunner in Maine's crew of etrunners as an adult. After getting drunk in the afterlife one evening, the crew was hired to break into Biotechnica's Night City headquarters and steal financial records on CHOOH2, along with any information they could find on a brand new immunosuppressant prototype called 0.091. Later in the video, we see that Main sends Sasha, the finest netrunner in his crew, on this job. She manages to infiltrate a Biotechnica HQ and she begins to gather as much information on the compounds as she can. Eventually, she finds private papers on securacine, the medications her mother used when she was unwell. Despite knowing that the principal negative effect of the analgesic was progressive neural degeneration, Biotechnica concluded securacine was too profitable to remove from the market. This came as a shock to her, because this particular brand of medication had taken her mom from her. So as an act of rebellion and pure vengeance, she decided to take down Corp. Acting out of pure impulse, Sasha began uploading the whole security database file to the N54 news tip line. However, the corporation gets wind of this while the database file was still uploading. She knew she wouldn't make it out alive. So in a blaze of glory, she detonated a bomb. She began a battle with the Biotechnica defense robots up until the upload was finished, at which point a bullet came blasting in through the window and hit her killing her. She falls down the building and lands on a random pedestrian's Chevillon tracks. Maine found her body, with a smile on her face that would send chills down her spine. Why Sasha is such an interesting character. The very first thing that intrigues you about Sasha is her design. She has a cute face and an attractive look to her overall attire, combined with her capabilities not only as a skilled netrunner, but also as a killer. Her claws can cut through metal, and her cyberware includes a monowire, which is made for destruction. Ever since this music video hit the internet, people have been creating the Sasha build in Cyberpunk, and it's beautiful to play around with. The verticality it brings, along with the overly fun and futuristic emphasis on melee combat, and the simple pistol for ranged battles, make the game both challenging and fun in every way possible. However, thematically, Sasha is a unique character to talk about too. The emotional baggage becomes Sasha's demise. In Cyberpunk Edge Runners, we go through David's story and in this particular one, you can see parallels with Sasha's story as well. David loses his mother at an early age and is immediately thrown into a world of depth and lack of pathing in life, so he becomes a cyberpunk. The same happens with Sasha, but just like David, to see a character taking control of what little they can. Sasha represents everyone in Night City, everyone that has been wronged by Night City's corporate overlords and their cannibalistic hunger for capitalist power. Instead of being designed like an everyman in Night City though, Sasha was a netrunner, 
and a super skilled one at that. She managed to infiltrate one of the most heavily guarded places in Night Sea on her own and could have escaped if she hadn't been taken over by emotional baggage that she was carrying. The fact that her emotions were what led to her death is not a way that the creators are hinting at the same facts that we've seen repeated multiple times. The love you have for those around you, the hatred you feel for those who wrong you, or any sign of emotion that you have pent up within you, that is what will become your end. We've seen this multiple times, whether with V or David, and of course with Sasha. These emotions that are so fundamental to our very being are what bring us down in Night City. It will desensitize you to them, and only then can you live or make something of yourself in the city. That's not the point though, because no matter how much Night City tries to break you away from your human side, there will always be outliers such as Sasha fighting to bring it back. These Night City legends will become an example, a shining beacon of hope that we are and always will be humans. Even corporate beasts can't take that away.